Darkness fears the break of dawn! Hey guys, this is Suns Fan with a spotlight video for Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker is a strength melee hero who's quite survivable by nature. She can be a very mobile hero who packs quite the punch, while still adding elements of support to the team. Starbreaker is a point target ability that when cast will start a 1.1 second combo. Dawnbreaker will swing her hammer around three times, damaging enemies with her current attack damage, plus a base of 55 physical damage. On the final swing, she will smash her hammer down, stunning enemies in front of her for 1.4 seconds and dealing 115 bonus physical damage. Once cast, you yourself are unable to interrupt this, though enemies still can with a well-timed disable. As you might imagine, this spell does indeed proc items such as Maelstrom and Desolator. And although the damage being physical means it will go through spell immunity, the stun will not. Celestial Hammer is a point target ability that will hurl Dawnbreaker's hammer to a location of choice, dealing 150 magical damage to anything it passes through. After two seconds, the hammer will return to Dawnbreaker, dealing another 150 damage on the way back. As it comes back, a trail of fire will appear for 2.5 seconds that deals 20 magical damage per second, as well as slowing for 35%. If you wish, you can return the hammer earlier than the two second duration, and if you do, Dawnbreaker will pull herself halfway towards the location. And even though you are throwing your hammer, you are in fact not disarmed during this time. Luminosity is a passive ability that will proc for every fourth hit Dawnbreaker strikes with. After the third attack, she will imbue her following attack with a 1.8 times critical strike. Dawnbreaker will be healed for 40% of that damage if the enemy struck was a hero. Allies within 650 units of her will also be healed for 35% of that amount. If the unit struck was a creep, then the heal for both her and her allies is reduced by half. The counter for this passive works in conjunction with her first ability. Solar Guardian is Dawnbreaker's ultimate ability. It's a channeling point target ability with global range. When used on an area around an ally globally, it'll channel for 1.6 seconds. During this time, at the location you choose, you'll damage enemies and heal allies for 70 per second. Once the channeling time is complete, Dawnbreaker will appear at that location, stunning targets in the 400 area for 1.5 seconds and dealing 190 magical damage. Keep in mind that similar to her first ability, once cast, it cannot be stopped by you, but enemies can still stop the channeling. Also note that you must use this ability on an area around an ally, which actually includes yourself but it will not actually follow the ally in any way. At this time, Dawnbreaker has no Aghanim Scepter or Shard. The following are Dawnbreaker's talents you can choose from. At level 10, there's a choice between 20 movement speed or 8 strength. At 15, we have minus 20 second Solar Guardian cooldown, which takes that from 100 seconds to 80, or plus 20 damage. At 20, there's 40% Luminosity crit, which increases that from a 1.8 to 2.2 crit, or two Starbreaker charges. And at level 25, there's a choice between 1100 Celestial Hammer cast range, which bumps that up from 1300 to a ridiculous 2400, or plus 200 Solar Guardian radius, which increases that from 400 to 600. Let us know what you think of Dawnbreaker in the comments below. Remember, if you'd like to support this channel, please consider contributing on our Patreon at patreon.com slash dotacinema. Also come hang out with the rest of our community at discord.gg slash sunsfan. For those that already do, thank you, and we love you. Okay, thanks again, guys, and until next time, this is Sunsfan, signing out.